Hey, Pete here with the River Kings, and today I'm talking about restoring the finish on your plastic kayak. And this is something that's uh, always talked about, and there's never any good answers, and it's going to be really easy for you to ruin a kayak, and I know that's why no one wants to do this. But here's the good thing. It's really not that hard. You just need a couple tools, and you need to understand a couple things about what you're trying to do. Number one, we're really not addressing gouges scratches that sort of thing that's going to be in the kayak we're not trying to get that out and what we're doing is we're only dealing with the top 64th of an inch maybe not even that much of plastic we're basically reconditioning the surface we're not wanting to take any plastic off this boat any more than just what we need to to reestablish kind of a shine to the boat so all the scratches in the boat are still going to be in the boat we're just kind of making it look a little more, I don't know, shiny, bringing the luster back. And here's what I'm talking about. I recently purchased this Nirvana. Um, I've been looking for like six months for a yellow one. And the whole boat kind of looks like this, just kind of dingy. It's got this kind of stuff on here from like aluminum bars. It's kind of just discolored in a lot of places. And just, it looks dirty, like... Almost like you put stickers on it, pulled it off, and then the dirt that stuck to it adhesive. It just looks ugly. And that's after I've pressure washed it. And so that's not coming off. Structurally, this is a sound boat. It's in good condition structurally. There's nothing wrong. It's just really ugly. And it bothers me. And I had some video looking at the surface of my kayak. It made the video. I just didn't like the way it looked. It was just, just ugly because it was so dingy looking. So what I'm going to do is bring back the kind of top finish to this boat the best I can. And um, I've already worked the front a little bit. And it was just the same kind of dirty and ugly. But as you can see, that looks way better than it did. And um, I practiced on this old broken fun right there, as you see, laying in the garage. And I brought the techniques over to this. So like I said, there's a whole bunch of like uh, almost sanded look probably from boats with sand on it stacked on this and it just uglifies the top of your boat here's a pro tip when you get out of the river and you're going to load your boats onto a truck keep the boat in the water don't drag it up in the sand or the mud and the dirt first and then pick it up keep the boat in the water bounce it a couple times make sure it's clean pick it straight out of the water set it straight in your truck or on your racks that will keep your boats looking a lot better it'll also keep sand out of your truck it'll keep sand off the top of your cars and it'll keep your grab bars looking better keep the decks of your kayaks looking so much better because they won't be sanding each other with when a grime grit and sand while you're in transport so that's today's pro tip but since we've already got a boat that's been kind of ruined in that regard we're going to bring it back to life and like i say i've already worked this a little bit but i haven't worked the sides and as you see there just ugly dingy looking dirty we're not taking any of those scratches out but we're going to get that discoloration off we're going to make it look better so here we go things you'll need for this project i'm using an orbital sander you don't want any kind of tool that's going to create a lot of heat rule number one um, the only thing that'll create any kind of heat whatsoever is this buffer wheel which is the other thing you'll need uh just a drill with um that's a a wool buffer I picked up at O'Reilly Auto Parts. And if you sit that in one place too long, it's probably gonna melt into your kayak a little bit. But um, as you're moving around, it's not gonna give you any trouble. The, the uh, orbital sander does not create heat as well. This sander is fun to use, but it's not like a belt sander where it's gonna remove a lot of material. We're gonna start off with, if you got an area that's really pitted badly, maybe 320, but we're gonna move right up to 800 all the way up the line of discs and you can get them off amazon all kinds up to 3000 grit and we're basically gonna take all the discoloration off and then slowly work into a shine and then finish off with the buff wheel not too difficult practice this with an old beater boat and um as you can see anything that's in the boat uh you can probably see that there was a, a divot there um any scratches like there's scratches in there they're still going to be there I'm not trying to take that out it's a lost cause you don't want to take plastic off the boat because that'll weaken the boat we're just kind of bringing the luster back and as you can see that's kind of halfway done 
and that looks amazing compared to that. And I'm telling you right now, they looked exactly the same when I started. The whole boat looked like that, and it's gonna look much better. Let's get down to it. So I'm gonna start with just this whole side of the boat. I'm gonna sand it, get all the discoloration off, and then start sanding it up to a shine. I'm gonna stop here at the bottom of the chine there, at the bottom of the edge, because that's gonna be underwater, and I don't really care about all that, so. We'll just see if we can make this side of this kayak look a little better. So I'm gonna start with my 320 grit sandpaper right there, and I'm gonna start taking down anything that looks discolored or ugly and go from there. Pro tip. Do not sand your molded in graphics. That would be stupid. Don't be stupid. Next pro tip, throw away your pads every so often because they get all gumped up with whatever material you're sanding, in this case plastic. Keep a new pad on every so often, makes it go a lot faster. Okay, so I got this side pretty much roughed up. A perfect example of what I'm talking about. All those scratches are still there. I'm not trying to get those out and um, I don't think you should. You don't want to take plastic off. We're really just addressing the topmost layer. I probably reworked it. No, that's just dirt. Sometimes you get dirt in those deeper scratches. And you just got to get them out. But yeah, so we're just roughing up the discoloration, any pitting, that sort of thing. Try not to sand your serial number. That one's already pretty much looking a little rough. I, I can't even make it out anymore. This is also a blim. I see now, I'm not sure why. It could have been the pitting in the plastic. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, deep scratches are all gonna be there, like I say, just getting all the discoloration off. So as far as discoloration, that side already looks a lot better than this side, which I haven't done, which I'm getting to next. We're gonna make that look good next. Let's do it. All right, folks, so probably about five to ten minutes of work, and I've got the discoloration removed. Everything I want sanded is sanded. I'm not worrying about the cockpit rim. There's some stuff under there that is kind of ugly. I'm just, I'm not worried about it. Just the outside of the boat needs to look yellow, not like mildew, which it wasn't, but it looked like it. So that's all the way around. The discoloration removed, I kind of, just sanded the nose because it was fuzzy from probably Whitewater Park carnage. So I'm not really gonna work it anymore up here, just knocking the fuzz off. So as you can see, it's got really dull areas where I've sanded, and that's where we have to get it back to the shiny. Any moisture will make that look a little better. I just lick it and it kind of turns back to yellow. But I want this to be shiny without having to add anything. So this isn't gonna be a 303 fix. We're gonna buff that to shine. And it starts by gradually getting higher and higher with your grit count on your sandpaper. So at 320, that's kind of where we're left. And surface scratches are all still there. We're just really scuffing up to make it look better. So if you're used to working with wood, you kind of understand this, but you kind of start rough and you go up a grit and sandpaper and it smooths it, you keep smoothing. 
you don't want to make too big a jump because it's too too much work for that uh, really fine sandpaper and so you just work right up so I have a 400 600 800 thousand 12 1500 2000 3000 grit and then the buff wheel so not sure we'll need each one of these but we'll just start out um, 350 to 400 that's so close I'm gonna skip my 400 so I'm gonna start with the 600 and uh, just run it up one time with the 600 then run it all over with the 800 and I'm just gonna step up the progression see how it looks <laughs> All right, so I'm into the 2000 grit paper and it just kind of leaves a just barely dull yellow boat. Not so much of the white. Kind of brings back to yellow, but it's a little dull. After this, we'll shoot for the 3000 grit and then the buffer wheel. So let's just keep rolling with this. <laughs> Right, so we are on to the 3000 grit sandpaper which is it almost does not feel abrasive but um, be sure to line your holes up on that thin stuff because you don't want the hook and loop pad underneath to interact so I know because I've already tried a little bit but this almost brings the shine back in and of itself and then all that's left is the buffer wheel <laughs> folks that is with the 3000 grit and again not trying to get any scratches out I'm just redoing the very very tip top surface of the boat and the 3000 is almost enough to put the shine back on it but what we're going to do now is hit it with the buffer wheel and um, then it should look pretty good And there you go, just, just a couple minutes on the front, and you can see the shine is back on it. Looking really good, especially considering how ugly this boat was when I started. So again, it's never gonna be brand new again, but even that fuzzy front looks so much better. So if you come back here to where the camera's gonna be operating, you can see that that's no longer dingy and ugly. It's just gonna give a much better video. Again, there's without the buffer wheel, no shine. And then just a couple minutes with the buffer and it's looking really good. She's never gonna be brand new again, but this is something that brings me a lot more happiness when I'm on the river. A nice, clean, shiny looking kayak. Put a little water on there and it'll look perfect. So let me keep buffing and we'll get back to it in a minute.
All right, so that's about 20 minutes with the buffer wheel. I am waiting on a battery to charge. But as you can see, this boat looks a thousand times better than it did when I started. It's got a shine all over it, no ugly discolorations, and it just looks fantastic. Uh, especially considering what it looked like before I started, which was really bad. But even that fuzzy nose is a lot better. So I'm going to move into the shop and get in there real quick and keep keep going a little bit further. I think I got a little more shine I can get out of it. All right, folks, I am in the shop. And that is dry. That's just buff wheel, no compounds, no 303, no anything wet to make it look shiny. That's just the natural shine I put back on it. And there's a couple spots where it's not perfect, but if you wet that up, you'll never notice. And when I'm in the boat, it's usually gonna be wet anyway. But more importantly, no ugly discoloration. There's still some fuzz on it from the buff wheel, but 99% uh, of all the discoloration is gone. And it just looks so much better. And I'm going to actually quit there. I'm happy with that. I could probably keep going, but only crazy people would shine kayaks up, right? I thought about buffing it more to make it look better, but to be honest with you, I'm I'm totally happy with that. That looks better than a lot of the, especially a lot of the older kayaks I have already. And when that goes in the water, it'll probably look brand new on the video. But I'm super excited about how that turned out. I'm trying to give you some angles so you can see it's never gonna be showroom perfect, but it does look way, way, way better than it did before. And I'm going to 303 this thing, which I do to all my kayaks. Um, and I'll show it to you again when I get done with that. All right, folks, there's the final product. All 303 shined up. It's as good as it's going to get. And I'm totally happy with it. Lots of shine on the boat. I'm trying to get it from different angles. And you don't want to really sand any material off the boat. You just want to put the luster back in and get that discoloration out. And man, that looks good. You now we have a boat we can put in a video and not have it look kind of ugly. But uh, my Nirvana yellow finally found it. There she is. I'm going to stand her up on the rack and take a look at her from there. All right, folks. So that's it. How do you refinish a plastic kayak and restore? the boat well that's the best i can tell you on how to do it different grades of plastic different finishes on the plastic like texture is going to change all of that so this is for the smooth boats like jackson uh probably some daggers liquid logic um all those would be good piranha a lot of times has a texture prion has a texture not sure how those would go but uh, if you're interested give it a shot go easy don't create heat if you have an old broken boat or something you don't care about, you can try on that. You can even try on the bottom or somewhere not gonna be seen. So if any of you watch this and use these tips and do your own boat, I'd like to see it. Uh, put the pictures on the River King Facebook group and uh, I think that'd be neat, but it's kinda like turning back the odometer, but not really. All the scratches are still there. Structure's not gonna change. Don't take off the plastic. Don't burn your boat by leaving it in one place too long. And just go slow, and it's, it's a lot of fun to fix an old boat up and uh, have something that's a lot prettier to look at. And for me, for the videos, I can't handle just a dingy, ugly boat, and this is something that's going to work out a lot better. So thanks for watching. See you next time.